Hi guys, welcome back, Cal Clash Fitness. Now today we're going to be doing a barefoot slash minimalist review roundup. Okay, so all the all the barefoot shoes, all the minimalist shoes that I'm, I've been running in, that I've test driven, I'm going to give a quick rundown. Now, as many of you know, I've done a full review on a lot of these shoes. So if there's a full review, I'll leave the the link down below so you can find that to find out more. Today, what I'm going to be doing is giving a concise review of all the barefoot minimalist trainers that I've tried out. And give my opinion on which ones that I feel are the are the best um, and what they're the best for as well. Okay, so without further ado, let's grab the uh, the minimalist high res from uh, New Balance. Now I've got a full review of these, and actually I do really really like these shoes, and I found these shoes to be honest to have the the best uh, perception of the road. They are ridiculously minimalist. Okay, look at that. That is ridiculous. Uh, and they've done that by having these these pods on the bottom. They give a fantastic um, they give a fantastic perception of what's going on um, from foot to brain um, on the road. Uh, they're good for on road, off road. Uh, brilliant shoe. The only thing that I have uh, an issue with is the is the wear. So these pods on the bottom wear very very quickly. Okay, so then <laughs> unfortunately they're not yet everyday shoe for putting in hundreds and hundreds of miles. However, if you already have your sort of your base shoe, maybe this could be your competition shoe, or maybe if you can pick it pick it up for a good price, you could just use this for having a bit of fun, which is what I do. Really love these shoes, but I wouldn't recommend for everyday use because of the wear issues. Okay, second up we got the Bear X 150. Now again, a brilliant running shoe, uh, very flexible, very minimalist, uh, barefoot running shoe. Huge toe box, which enables your toes to spread out with every strike. Great perception on the road, uh, nice quick quick shoe as well. Um, only suitable really for, for tarmac paved surfaces because they're so smooth. Um, also not particularly suitable in the wet or the, um, or the icy conditions. Um, really like this shoe. One big issue for me is that uh, I assume it's just the way it's built, but for me every time I run in these shoes uh, it gives me incredible Achilles pain, okay? And I know for a fact that it doesn't give other people these pains, but for me, if I run um, a couple of runs in a week in these, I will literally be out for weeks because my Achilles are, are so shredded. But what I do do, I do like these trainers. Um, I like the design, I like the colour. I wear these as my everyday shoe um, with no issue at all. However, for me personally, running in them does give me a lot of issues. But like I say, um, that's an unfortunate side effect and I think it is only me that, that has that um, but unfortunately for me that's that rules these these shoes out third very quickly the Puma Fass um, not going to spend too much time on this because I think it's an absolute terrible shoe okay the, I don't know what, what they were thinking but um, it's a zero drop which qualifies it as a minimalist shoe I picked this up for, for next to nothing which is why I bought it. Um, the heel is is uh, here where the where the material meets you, the back of your heel. Uh, really rubs the shit out of your heel. Okay, you'll have blisters within uh, a mile or two running in these. Uh, you have no perception of the road. They're not very flexible at all. For me, that is a no. So that goes in the bin pile. How could it be a, a minimalist shoe review without the the original Bikila LS? Okay, so for me, the Bikila LS and the Bikila LS Evo, so two shoes, uh, slightly different. My preference is actually the Evo, um, but starting with the, with the LS, beautiful shoe, in my opinion, the best minimalist shoe out there. This is my go-to training shoe. I've done literally over 2,000 miles in Bikilas, okay? Injury-free, enjoyable running. Okay, I've got a review separately of this, and I've got a review separately of this. The links will be down below, but these are absolutely my choice for everyday running. Okay, for racking up the mileage, um, for going out there and enjoying um, your, your training and your running and just having a great experience. I have competed in these quite a fair bit. However, they're not the quickest shoe out there. Okay, so for me, if I'm, if I'm going for absolute performance and I want a, a good placing in a competition, I probably won't reach for the Vibrams. Um, they're my everyday shoe. In my opinion, they're the best injury 
free running shoe, okay? But if I'm competing, I'm willing to uh, sort of sacrifice a little bit of the injury prevention for speed, okay? So in training, I'm not necessarily so concerned about that, about speed. I'm more concerned about not injuring myself and having good and enjoyable training. But then during a the competition, obviously I want to smash it, I want to beat as many people as possible, like on a podium place. Um, therefore, I'm going to pick the shoe that's quickest for me. But I can't recommend these, these shoes enough. And actually holding the Evo and the, and the original LS, the Evo is a fair bit lighter as well. Uh, let's move on to the New Balance Minimus. Now again, this is a shoe that I would highly recommend guys. Um, if you're not comfortable moving straight to the Vibram straight away with the, with the toes and people looking at you and talking about you and that sort of thing, which shouldn't make any difference whatsoever. Um, the New Balance Minimus, fantastic shoe. Okay, and again I've got a full review on these beasts. Um, I've done hundreds of miles in these. You can see uh, they're pretty much worn out now. Um, love these shoes. Injured my foot um, in Mexico on a, on a zip wire thing when I was in barefoot, a bit, a bit of a stupid error. It prevented me from running in Vibrams for a good couple of months, which is when I racked up a lot of miles in these. Absolutely love them, brilliant shoe. I've recommended these to a lot of people and uh, I, I, again, I think if you're, if you're just transitioning into, into minimalist slash so barefoot shoes, this is a great choice. Uh, Perception of the road is pretty good. It's not the best in the in the category, but it's a decent um, minimalist running shoe. Zero drop, obviously. Uh, very thin, not very padded. Um, great shoe. Recommend that. Uh, then we have the Vivo. Now, what do I what do I say about this? I know there's a lot of fans of this uh, of these these shoes out there. For me. So the Vibo Evo 2, I am not a fan. I don't like these shoes whatsoever. I find that um, this meshy bit here, when you're, when you're running, uh, really digs into your big toe, causes blisters, very uncomfortable. Um, and really for a barefoot shoe, I like to run um, barefoot in it. You've got a removable insole here. Um, and again, just look at that. It's just, uh, for me, it's a big disappointment, really. So it sort of is flexible, but it's flexible in an unflexible way, if you see what I mean. It's not, um, I was incredibly disappointed with these with these trainers. I personally wouldn't recommend the, uh, the Vivo Barefoot Evo 2. I've never tried another pair of Vivos because of my experience with these. I know there's a lot of fans of them out there. However, for me, uh, it's not an option. And as with a lot of the other shoes that I've shown, the New Balance Minimus, for example, and the Bear X 180 that I like to wear um, as a casual shoe as well as a running shoe. Um, these really for me, they're no good as a running shoe. Um, they're not very comfortable as a, your everyday shoe. So for me, again, they can join the, the Pumas over there in the, in the bin. Now, I've got one more shoe, shoe to show. Um, as I've said, the Vibrams are my go-to everyday mileage trainer, mileage shoe, okay? So finally, what is my competition shoe? What is my minimalist competition shoe? And it's the Newton MV2, okay? I've never tried the MV3, but I would assume it's the, exactly the same thing, just with uh, some additional technology, which is a, a marketing bullshit way of saying they're the same shoe, but for a higher price. Uh, probably the lightest shoe that I've shown today. Zero drop, um, barely any padding. I, there is a little bit of padding. Um, but it's not noticeable when you're out running. As I say, an incredibly light shoe. You do not even know that you're wearing anything on your feet when you've got these on. You've got the little foot pod here, um, which if you're not used to running um, forefoot slash midfoot anyway, uh, that pod does really help because uh, it automatically forces you to go up onto your toes. And for me, I run considerably faster when I'm wearing these, okay? Um, the, the trade off is there is a little bit more impact coming through your body because um, this, this pod makes it a little less flexible and it does reduce the, the perception of the road. But like I say, if I'm competing or if I want to just go out and absolutely kill it on a run, I will reach for the Newton MV, MV squared every single time. Okay, these are my shoe for speed and these are my shoe for for just general mileage okay so these are the two for me my personal preference that I will always reach for okay 
Secondly, I'd go for the New Balance Minimus or the New Balance Minimus um, High Res because the High Res is a very fun shoe. The, um, the normal Minimus is, is sort of a, uh, a good performer. But these two, for me, are my number one pick. Okay, The Newton MV Squared and the Vibram Bukila LS Evo. Okay, so that's my summary. Like I say, there's four reviews um, in the links down below. If you want a full review on any of these shoes that I haven't done, please give me a shout. If there's anything out there that I, I should be aware of, let me know and I'll try and get my hands on some of those on the cheap and, and review them. Um, guys, please subscribe down below. Please give me a like. Please give me a comment. Let me know what else you want to see. Okay, let's keep this rolling.